Hello and welcome back! First of all, I'm very sorry for the delay of this video. It was planned to be released two weeks earlier, but you know, life happened. Anyway, let's move to the build. Most of the assembling is straightforward, but some places are more tricky. The cockpit have lovely details and good straight out of the box. The only missing part is seat belts. I painted the cockpit with Tamiya Nato Black. This color looks much more interesting than pure black. At all, it's better to avoid pure black color in general. After painting, it's time to dry brushing to make detail more pronounced. Then it's time to paint details on pilot seat and panels.
I'm applying decals without varnish as Tamiya paints have very smooth surface. Then layer of varnish for protection and I'm moving to glue very nice photo edge set of seat belts from Edward. After it, I'm applying stone grey wash for black from Amomic. To simulate glass on screen, I'm using Tamiya X22 Clear. Weapon base have nice details, but you can update them with some wires. Just dry fit every part first. It took me some time to paint all of these parts, as my white color was very strange with very weak coverage, maybe just bad bunch.
for all landing gear structure, I will highly recommend to build it all first and then insert it into the fuselage. Not as I did, I followed the instruction and it cost me lots of time and glue. This little part also requires a good dry fit, as instructions don't really explain how to position it right. I am fixing panel lines with Tamiya Putty tint with lacquer thinner. It helps when panel lines have some imperfection in them.
And that's all. Raptor is ready for some paint. After the build, I can sense that in general it is a very nice kit, but demands a lot of dry fit, curing pin marks and some out of instruction decisions. It, as always, like if you did, dislike if you not, and comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you for watching and see you in the next part.